Documents from a case that happened 50 years ago. Let's play along with the old man for a little longer, shall we? Zack, that means we need to head for the sheriff's department. Can there really be documents here that the FBI doesn't even have? What do you think, Zack? York! I told you! It's nothing more than local folklore! Harry said that he was there. The raincoat killer is a phantom, made up to scare children long ago. I can't believe you fell for that from Harry, of all people. I agree with George. Harry likes to play with people, play with their minds, too. George. Emily. Of course I don't believe him, word for word. But you won't mind if I at least try to confirm that he's wrong, will you? <laughs> well then, can you look for the files by yourself? I'm still looking for Thomas. Very well. Emily, open the filing room for him. They're here too, Zack. This might mean we're getting warmer to what we need. noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Zack, looks like we need to continue our search for the documents.
George, I'll get right to the point. It looks like someone else has just removed the documents I'm looking for. Huh? Removed? The cabinet looks like it had been forced open. That's impossible. No one could break into there. No. Emily, there is one person that can access that room at any time. You don't mean Thomas? Speculate. Profiling is my job, remember? More importantly, Emily, could you get me a coffee? A fresh one, if possible. Coffee? At a time like this? <laughs> Why now? Emily, please. This is very important. Some coffee. And bring some milk on the side. some coffee. So tell me what you know. Uh. Ah, Zach, this is amazing. Even the taste of her coffee is thrilling, to say the least. What? No, nothing. This isn't the cup that Thomas always uses for me, is it? I'm sorry about that too, then. I just used a cup that was nearby. You have a problem with that? A problem? Not at all, my dear Emily. The coffee is perfect. Well, okay, taste aside. This cup certainly is perfect. George, Emily, we're going to Velvet Falls. There's something waiting for us there. You can feel it. York, are you joking? You're trusting your cup? No, Emily. Going to a waterfall just might be a good idea. Feng Shui, a waterfall Even if we find nothing there, I'm sure it will give us some power. Thanks for the vote of confidence, George. And don't forget to bring a fishing rod. All right. I'll go get it. Fishing? Are you too serious? George, do you have a net? <laughs>